Dear friends, brothers and sisters, my name is Dr. Bajwa. I'm an emergency physician working on the front lines in Canada. I'd like to share with you what's happening on the hospital front, something that most people right now are not seeing, and I hope to God they never see. This virus is spreading so fast in the world because it's such a cunning little virus. Most viruses are either spread quickly, like the flu, or they're serious, like SARS. But this one is both. One of the main reasons why it's spreading like fire is because it starts to spread even before you know you have it. I might be spreading the virus right now and not even know it until I get sick tomorrow or the next day. The numbers that you see in the media are not accurate. They show only the people who have been tested that are positive. There are so many more people out there who have it, who are spreading it, and we don't even know about them because they haven't been tested. Canada is doing a pretty good job. We've recently increased our testing in the past few days, but it's going to get a lot worse. The healthcare system, the workers, are doing the best we can. I might sound like an alarmist, but I can live with that. In fact, I'll fall over in happiness if I'm wrong. I'm just trying to stress the importance of what public health is trying to tell us. We need to get away from each other. Don't have friends or parents over. Don't go to large gatherings. FaceTime your friends, call them, email them, do whatever you have to do. Just don't go see each other. Don't be in close distance to each other. Don't take your kids to the playground. In fact, why don't you act like you have it? Act like you will get it. That's the way that you'll help yourself from getting it. And that's the way that you'll help stop it from spreading to your family. If you have to go out for groceries, the pharmacy, then wash your hands. Don't touch your face. That's how it gets in. Create some friends and family groups and take turns going to get groceries. Just remember to leave the groceries on the front door and not go in for a hug or a kiss. Your actions today will determine what I'm seeing two weeks from now. We can handle many sick patients, but there's a limit. After that, well, I'd rather not say. We can get more ventilator machines, but who's going to run them? We only have a limited number of people, and even some of them are going to get sick. We don't have the time to train new ones, so we've already asked retired doctors, nurses, and other healthcare workers to come back from retirement to help us. But even that's not going to be enough. I cannot say it enough. Social distancing, staying home, washing your hands. This is what's going to get us through this tough time. Not some magic medicine or vaccine. They are going to happen sometime in the future. If we can all do this together, then this disease will hit us like a small hurricane and pass with some moderate damage. If we don't do this, then a tsunami is coming. We all have to remember that all of humanity is suffering right now. The virus doesn't care what color your skin is, how much money you have. We're all in this together. We'll, pu we'll pull through this together. The worst thing that, I, that could happen is that you did it for nothing. But the odds are that's not true. When you show up at my emergency room door, I promise to do what I can for you. In return, will you promise what you can do for me? Just stay home, please.